obviously you can't wear like really grippy, really hard, rugged shoes on training mat. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the indoor Ninja Tabby boots we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about some of these features, why you'd want to wear these, what styles would use them, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training in Tabby boots. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the indoor Ninja Tabby boots we have for sale at Enzo. Now Tabby boots cause us a whole load of headaches because people come in and they want all kinds of different types. They've seen this, they've seen that, they've heard about this, their instructors said that these exist or they, that exists and they want a whole different range of variety. It would be lovely to have 20 different types of tabby boots all in the shop, all in the shelves, but to be honest, there's just not the demand for it. So, we get the tabby boots we can get, and you know, that, that's the design that they are. We think they're pretty good, and we do get people coming back, buying them like once they've eventually worn their pairs out and whatnot. They may not be exactly the tabby boots that you specifically want, but they are indoor tabby boots. So it's, you know, it's not the most common thing that you can get. And certainly you're not importing them from Japan, where obviously there's a much higher, like, broader range of tabby boots and paying an absolute fortune to get them shipped over. So let's first talk about tabby boots and what that's all about. Tabby boots actually haven't been around that long. They're quite a new invention, maybe sort of the last 100, 150 years, something like that. And they started off in construction. Now, because tabby boots have, uh, they've got really good grip, obviously they come from Japan and they're used by a lot of Japanese construction workers, but they've got loads of grip. They're quite flat bottomed. They suit ninjutsu perfectly. So they want to train outside. They want to be able to feel the floor, but have loads and loads of grip. Like a tabby boot is a really, really good option to have. From that has evolved the indoor tabby boot. Now, obviously you can't wear like really grippy, really hard, rugged shoes on training mats. It's just, it's just not gonna work. They're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get ripped. You're gonna like rip up all your training partners with the really rough grip on your soles. So these indoor tabby boots have been developed so you can still have tabby boots. You can still continue with the same uniform that a lot of the ninjutsu guys go for but you can have some tabby boots on your feet. Now there are some styles now that are coming away from them and they're just training barefoot like a lot of the other Japanese styles. They're not wearing the ninjutsu gis, they tend to be wearing like the black judo gis or the, heavy, the black karate gis. There are people that are they're moving away from that, but if you're in Bujinkan and it is the biggest, biggest style of ninjutsu out there, nearly everyone will still be wearing tabby boots. So these ones, these ones here are an ankle length and not, not a calf length tabby boot, which tends to be fairly common for the indoor ones. And they are purely made out of cloth. So they're sort of like a, a, a very glorified sock, but uh, they have two layers of material. So they've got a very sort of thin linen on the inside of white, and then they've got a very thick black canvas on the outside. So it's still pretty tough. Now, you probably want to still buy a pair of tabby socks if you're going to use these because if you're just wearing them with your feet they are going to end up getting a bit smelly so the tabby socks just help keep the smell and the kind of the bacteria and whatever out of your tabby boots now you can wash these you can wash these absolutely fine but obviously washing regularly with velcro doesn't work so well so you might need to like put in something in place where you can protect that velcro um maybe at least even wash it with the with the velcro closed but it is going to degrade the velcro washing these a lot so a pair of tabby socks which we do so as well will be really beneficial to making these last as long as possible now the sole is a much thicker kind of cotton sole or white sole like stitched in all the way around really thick but obviously there isn't there's very little padding on the bottom so this allows you to feel 
fill the floor really well so it's really good if you are training on mats or you're training like an indoor sports hall you're not going to get any cushioning or protection out of there it is like being on barefoot with just material on your feet around the split toes and obviously the split toe is the main feature of these tabby boots there's loads of stitch reinforcement on both sides on the on the big toe side and the little toe side can you see all stitched in around the top just just to give you like that extra bit of strength and again allow them to to last a long time these are fixed with velcro now there are some that exist with the loops and like the little loops that clip in i personally have found from selling them that the loops don't tend to last that long we can get them we are able to get those in but the loops just don't last a long time the velcro does seem to hold together much much better for the training that they're going to be put on also having metal loops sticking out the back of your shoes while you're training and ninjutsu you are going to do some grappling you are going to do some like like wrestling based stuff it's not very good having metal loops sticking out all over the place so i think the velcro stays on better but it also is a safer option so are there any other styles that train in tabby boots not really now i have heard that some of the shin taido guys which is much more of like a health system it has its martial links but more of a health system they do train in tabby boots and we occasionally get people coming in but they want white tabby boots so they just won't settle for the black ones but there's not really many other styles that I've heard of. Obviously offshoots of ninjutsu like the taijutsu guys and, and the budo taijutsus and you know different, different kind of factions that have split away from the bujinkan and gone and done their own thing. But it's nearly always ninjutsu or ninjutsu kind of branches that train in tabby boots. So just a few tips on sizing. Now sizing can be a bit all over the place. People really struggle fitting into shoes and you know that widths and, and, and lengths and height and all the rest of it can all make lots of lots of problems so ideally if you can come into the shop and try these on that would be the ideal if you can't come in and you're only buying online i'll do my best to give you the advice that from the experience of selling these over the past sort of um, couple of decades now they do come up a little bit tight so if you're wearing socks as well they do tend to be really really snug so if you're bang on like an eight say like right on the money and you're always an eight like obviously you're going to get an 842 in these that that's no problem if if you tend to be a half size you know you might you, i think really you need to go up a size i think that's that's the way to do it these just slightly baggy are going to be much better than like tight as hell because it is all material you know squeezing into a pair of these is, isn't going to be that good obviously it's your shoes you can do what you like with them and being material they will stretch a bit so if you like them hyper snug then obviously you, you can do that but they do yeah they do tend to come up a little bit tight so it's it, it's worth knowing so at enzo martial arts we have a wide range of footwear for all different types of martial arts but as these are almost a specific ninjutsu item i'll show you a few of the ninjutsu stuff that we have at enzo martial arts we have the calf length outdoor tabby boots and socks to go with them. We have three gis that ninjutsu guys use, including this heavyweight karate gi. We have a whole range of weapons, and not the ninjutsu stuff that's been banned. We do have Loretto Bokken, Reddo Joe, and also the bow, tantos, and hambos. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training in tabby boots, mainly in ninjutsu. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learned loads about the indoor ninja tabby boots we have for sale. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!